Most airports search your bag like this. But when you enter the U.S. from abroad, they have to be cleared by an additional inspector. Uh, my beagle here today is Beasley. He's approximately four years old. Um, he's been on the job for two years. Um, and he is typically about 92% accurate. Accurate at detecting meats, nuts, fruits, and seeds, that is. Beasley inspects up to 1,500 people and as many as 4,800 bags every day. Typically, he will find about 15 items a day. It just depends on the day, time of year, season but generally anywhere around 12 to 15 items a day. Apples, oranges, and bananas are the most common contraband, but officers say unpredictability keeps the job interesting. Is it going to just be a banana, or is it going to be a guy bringing live fruit flies for research, or is it going to be the lady that smoked eight cow legs and threw them all in her bags to bring in to make soup later? You just never quite know. Some of Beasley's more unusual finds include chorizo in baby formula and sausages taped to picture frames and golf clubs. But as African swine fever spreads throughout Asia, importing these pork products poses a serious risk of bringing the disease to American shores. Jones says the department is stepping up inspections in response. They are targeting more on those flights, um, looking for people they suspect might be more likely to have carried it. Um, we definitely hit them more with the dogs if we can. Um, we, they're running special operations on it to make sure that they're extra screened extra hard. No matter what they find, officers say, once a product is detected, it's destroyed. If it's a meat product, it'll go into a big bag and it will be taken to an incinerator and incinerated. Any fruit that we have that we can, we put down a big giant garbage disposal and it gets destroyed that way. Nothing leaves the airport. Thousands of international passengers arrive here every day at Dulles International Airport just outside of Washington, D.C. They're bringing food and agricultural products from around the world, posing a serious threat to American agriculture. The Beagle Brigade is the first line of defense from stopping any pests or deadly diseases from reaching the American agricultural system. For RFD-TV, I'm Sarah Mock on the road in Sterling, Virginia.